Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Vaibhav Roy. In this video we are going to study about the drawing instruments and their uses. Here are some of the drawing instruments for manual drafting. Let's see them. A drawing board, drawing sheets, standard set squares, mini drafter, instrument box, set squares, 45 degrees, 30 degrees and 60 degrees ones. Protractor, come pro circle, drawing pencils. There are different types of drawing pencils like HB, H, and 2H. Sharpener and emery paper. Emery paper is a paper which is coated with the uh, sand or emery. Okay, adhesive tape like cello tape or clips to hold the drawing sheet to the drawing board. Pencil eraser, French curves. Now let's discuss about the drawing sheets. Engineering students generally prefer A2 or A3 size drawing sheets for class work. A drawing sheet generally consists of the border lines. These lines are drawn in order to obtain a perfect rectangular drawing space where all the draftings can be made. At left hand edge of the sheet, a filling margin of 20 mm width is drawn. At right hand top and bottom, a 5 mm width of margins can be drawn. A drawing sheet also contains a title block. A rectangle of 185 mm in width and 65 mm in height is said to be a title block. In title block, it consists of name of the institute, name of the student, class, roll number, year, title of the drawing, date of submission, etc. Now let's briefly discuss about the title block. A title block can be drafted using the following dimensions like 185 mm of length and 65 mm of breadth. Here is one of the example of a title block which has been well planned and uh, divided into the number of sections into rows and columns for describing uh, specific details. The length of 185 mm has been divided into two columns, uh, 130 mm one and the remaining 55 mm other. Now the breadth has been divided into five, col five rows and the dimensions of each row has been given on the left side here. Now the dimensions of the lettering or the writing space has been given over here. So we must plan our title block in this way so that it is organized well and looks proper. Now let's study about the different types of drawing sheets available in the market for drafting. Okay, in this table we can clearly see the types of drawing sheets available in the market. They are a0, A1, A2, A3 and A4 size papers. The dimensions of these papers are given on the right side of the table. They are, this is the length and this is the breadth. For an A0 paper, the length is 1189 and width is 841. In the same way, A1 size paper has a width of, I'm sorry, length of 841 millimeters and a width of 594 and the width of the A1 size paper becomes the length of the A2 size paper as you can see here. So this is being followed in in the every paper sheet. Okay now let's see the different types of lines used in the engineering drawing okay the commonly used lines in the engineering drawing are given in the table below the different types of lines are continuous line freehand continuous thin wave a continuous thin zigzag line a short dashes a long chain thin long chain thick at end and thin elsewhere lines 
okay the illustration of these lines are uh, shown in this column the continuous thick line can be illustrated as this and the continuous thin line can be illustrated as this a freehand curve or a freehand uh, continuous thin wave can be illustrated as this and so on and so forth okay users of uh, these lines are given in third column they are these uh, continuous thick lines are given for are used for visible boundary lines or dimension lines and uh, leader lines extinction lines construction lines uh, and hatching lines and freehand uh, continuous thin waves are given for irregular boundaries line and short break lines this continuous thin zigzag lines are used for long break lines okay short dashes are used to illustrate the invisible edges okay and uh, long chain thin lines are used to use for center lines uh, locus lines etc uh, long chain thick uh, thick at the end and thin elsewhere uh, lines are used for cutting plane uh, cutting plane lines okay the pencils uh, that must be used for illustrating the following lines are as follows uh, which are given in the fourth column the continuous thick and thin lines must be drawn using a uh, h and 2h pencils where the freehand continuous thin wave must be drawn using a 2h pencil and the continuous thin zigzag lines must be drawn using a 2 hutch pencil a short dashes line must be drawn using a hutch pencil a long chain thin line must be drawn using a 2 hutch pencil a long chain thick at end and thin at elsewhere must be drawn uh, using a 2 hutch and hutch pencil a uh, 2 hutch pencil must be used to draw the thin lines and a hutch pencil must be used to draw the thick lines in the next video we will be studying about conventions in drawing uh, lettering and bis conventions uh, that's it for this tutorial for all my videos please visit my youtube channel that is www.youtube.com/vibhavroyce if you have any queries comments or suggestions please email me to vibhavroy@engineer.com thank you for watching